How are we, folks? This is The Doug Rice Show. I am Doug Rice. Welcome, one and all. Thank you so much for showing up. I'm coming at you with something that uh, is both informative and at the same time a little bit disappointing. Joe Buttons, uh, someone I look to as almost a, a template for where I would love this show to go. I mean, he has a wonderful broadcast. Of course, we know the voice of Joe Buttons on all of the different songs he's produced. He's an established individual, and I had great respect and admiration for Joe Buttons until today. Now, I say it. That's what I do. That's what I do. I'm a small time nobody that does this driven by the spirit to do so, and I like it. But I don't take back what I say. I don't say it, put it out there, and then take it back. Not unless it's so vile, which is, unfortunately, oh, I tend to live in vileness sometimes. I just get a little bit passionate about what I say. But Mr. Buttons literally broke within me any sense of respect I may have had for him only in that he said what he said. And you would expect that a man that says what he says would stand by what he says, but I'm finding this to be quite, quite an ordeal to recover from. Now, I'm going to play what was said by Joe Buttons, what was, what was said purposefully and, you know, with intent, his honest assessment of the Diddy Cassie story, which played in front of the world. It wasn't a private party. It was... It was a public soiree, right? And Diddy did it in front of everybody, and Joe had something public to say about it, and he said it. And then I understand he detracted and then backed up like a craw, Dad. On his last podcast, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the results of that backup, but let's talk about what he said. Uh, Cassie and Puff. Yeah. yeah. I read I read the or every page of mm -hmm. the, the lawsuit. Shit. Pretty fucking horrific. Mm -hmm. 35 pages. Ice, you read it? I read the entire thing. Okay. Um, I believe I was glued yeah. to everything she said. Now listen to Joe. He says he was glued to it, and the folks believed everything he said. Wow. It does sound Whatever. believable. It does sound it's, it's too. It's too detailed. Mm -hmm. That's why. Like, this isn't a... a, a um, Oh, there was no disrespect to anybody, but you know, sometimes you hear these accusations that'll say, Oh, there was a party in 2008 and this incident happened. This is a timeline of shit that just would not stop. Mm -hmm. This is just too descriptive, too accurate. And then, even you know, the, the, the Cuddy car situation, they reach out to Cuddy who confirmed it. It's like, oh, All right, right, now every time you hear somebody go, Yeah. I, that is, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that is Joe Buttons. And one of his co-hosts is about to make a very, a very stark and hard contrasting statement. And I want you to hear him with that. Yeah. And listen to the regret. Now you got people confirming shit. Like, mm -hmm. nah, he did this shit. So it leads me to believe the same way we say. Oh, I don't know. Something seems fishy here. We're gonna wait. He's still trying to fuck. Shit don't seem fishy here. So because shit don't seem fishy, I'm rolling. And I think he did all that shit that she accused him of. Oh lord. Okay. All right. So it was oh lord, wasn't it? Not yet. I'm trying to figure out who that was because that oh lord that was uh, after the he did that. That was a that was a stark warning of. Oh God, we've said something on this podcast we may have to detract, but let them finish. It's very touchy. Fam. I, I respect I respect the ledge you stand on, I support you. I have insurance on my car. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What what does that mean? I have insurance on my car. Insurance? Not insurance. insurance. I got remote start, pick a button. Okay. The car button gotta be placed, right? Yeah, I bet you just throwing it. <laughs> he ain't landed on her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got somebody to get a there. Okay, so there's 35 pages in the lawsuit, but you guys said there's some bullet points. There was. Now they're going to go over the bullet points and they're going to do it with definitive intent. Listen carefully. What were the, you know, you tell the us, most man? egregious? Yeah, that word. Yeah, that word. No, 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 no. We're sharing in this situation. No, 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 no. We are reporting the news. Okay, we'll get 
to that part, but let's just, you know. There was, we a, there was an allegation this. of rape. Okay. Post breakup. Mm -hmm. um, there was allegations of what sounded like maybe not so consensual group sex activity with male prostitutes. Mm -hmm. There was allegations of physical abuse. Mm -hmm. Uh, sex trafficking. Okay, that's Joe Buttons. He's chimed in. He said that he read every page. He said that he was glued. Now, juxtaposed that to the photo that you see of him shaking hands with Diddy. I don't understand his hesitance. He said it just as firmly as he's shaking his hand. Sex trafficking. Uh, she was very young at the time when they started dating, so there's some um, allegations or at least... Um, Weirdness. Hints towards some other shit. Yeah. Mm. None of it reads well. No. None of it reads None well. It. And it got worse as as you just kept reading. As the it paragraphs got, more, got longer. To Ice's point, it got, it got more, more detail. detail and more detail yeah. on that is what was like. Yeah. And the other thing that stood out to me was <clears throat> where they said um, he offered us some an eight-figure settlement. Mm -hmm. And she didn't take it. Yeah. So now I do the math. I look at the lawsuit. The lawsuit is eight is, figures is thirty nine. Thirty million mm -hmm. minimum. Eight figures. Eight is figures 10. is ten. Ten minimal. Mm -hmm. Minimal. Mm -hmm. We don't know what the offer was. Mm -hmm. For you to say no, I'm no. going to go forward with this. This, this tells me this is about more than money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which then says, okay, this shit happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're establishing in their minds collectively as a group that it happened. They recorded this in interaction. It was played or intended for replay in their podcast. And for some reason, the fear of this man has caused Joe Buddens to react uh, in a great deal of cowardice. And I'm, I'm only saying that not uh, to insult the man, but the way he responded uh, when people kind of attacked him for taking this down, he really made it plain. He wanted no part in giving his opinion on a show where he uh, gives his opinion. Are mm. trying to fix a puff quits? I would have went and found 30 million. I would have called everybody I know. So let me ask you. Look, you got 30, it. You I'm don't sure know that. You don't know that. You don't know that. that. That's, not That's an assumption. Okay. Right. We do not know that he has 30 million liquid just lying around sure. disposable income here. That could finish somebody. And if there's one person that might know a number outside of your ballpark, it's Cassie. Yeah, someone mm -hmm. that was that close to you. The, for that the fact that it's Cassie, right? Normally in these in these instances, oh no, she's like, no, 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 no. If more victims come out, not victims. See, that's what, that's why I was disagreeing with you. Not victims. If she starts to go get the the maid. If she starts to go get the real doctor reports, if she starts to go get the people that just were around and they start corroborating her story, it's going to be a long day. Well, she don't have to so, again, I hear from these individuals them doing their jobs and the fact that their job involves perhaps a friend or an associate or somebody doesn't really take away from the fact that they're doing honest reporting. And, and Joe Budden's removing this as if Diddy isn't going to hear this. Well, he's already heard it, I can assure you. To go far, so she got to go on a bit. Yeah, her she's husband used to work with Puff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, the credibility going to be off because he got, I'm talking about the people, that don't, to, have, yes, to, the people to, that don't have nothing to do with it. Yeah. Well, if she starts going to get them, fam, it's going to be a long day for him. I think it's already a lot. I mean, it's already a long day. Yeah. A lot of people came out in support of her. A lot of ex-bad yeah. boy members. Mm -hmm. I saw uh, Aubrey Day. Aubrey Day. Aubrey Day. Uh, all, all of them, all of Danity came, kind of. Said, said something about, you know, the, the whole offering of the um uh, the pub back. Mm -hmm. Cash with the, came with the stipulation of an NDA. No, she didn't no, 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 no. Ironclad. A 90-page, whatever she said, mm -hmm. NDA. This man is still talking boldly about the man he's shaking hands with. And for some reason, after boldly speaking the words of truth, he then backs it all up and nearly, nearly caters to him on line. He, he wants so much to be disassociated with the opinion he freely gave. Now, he just, it is, to me, it's just a shameful look. Mm. That's what all the old days said. Yeah. So now... 
you know, if you want to look at it through that lens, which a lot of you have, you have to assume that Puff knew something was coming down the pipeline. Actually, they said she's been trying to get thirty million for six months. Hmm. So that's six and months. Right so let's throw an extra two, three months on top of that. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't give me my hospital report. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, that's nuts. No, it's you see what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's sick I shit. Nigga, you looking at me? If I'm bruised up, if I got any ailment. I don't get to see it first. Mm -hmm. It gets sent to somebody else first. That's crazy. The scrubbing of that's hotel true. videos mm -hmm. and cameras. That's mm -hmm. Now that's buttons. That's Joe quoting the suit openly, freely, telling the truth. I don't understand why he would back this up. And he's talking about he'd be in danger is what he inferred on his own show, which uh, isn't everybody in danger of this man. I mean, I'm wondering, did he give you a call, Joe? I, I really am. Paying people off, uh, the the numerous uh, abusive car rides. Mm -hmm. She named the security person that was like she named. She's naming mm -hmm. names mm -hmm. in there. Sure. And and what's going to be really important here is in one of these oh, early oh, paragraphs, oh. it say about ninety times she was employed by Mr. Combs when yada, 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 yada. At all times in the next few readings, she was employed by such and such and such and such. I think Sony is found in this. Yeah. Uh, Sony is found in this. And it says, at all times, the defendant was an employee of... Uh, so it's epic. 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 That's what we mean. So that's a that's Sean Combs. That's that's what they doing. Sean Combs. You know what they doing? Bad Boy Entertainment, Bad Boy Records, Epic Records, Comb Enterprises, LLC, and Doe Corporations 1 through 10. Okay, so they got the receipts. They've obviously read the lawsuit. They're talking openly, honestly, and objectively about all of this. And I commend Buttons for recording this. But I, I just, uh, I, I don't understand. I convict him for trying to hide it. Which means we can put names in there later. That's the whole kit and caboodle. Yep. That is the whole kit and caboodle. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that she's got a cachet of evidence that's going to support mm -hmm. a lot of what she says. Like, if she couldn't get a hold of those medical reports, then she started to do some documentation of herself. No, you, or I, I... Like, photo, photographic documentation of her injuries. Or I found out how to get my shit legally. Right. Because they can't keep taking your shit. Like, there's laws in place for them taking your hospital shit. So, for point of reference, what was alleged in the suit is that anytime Puff injured this woman uh, and she had to go to the physician, the uh, documents regarding her medical treatment would be sent directly to Puff and not to the patient. And they're asserting that in some way, shape, or form, she has gotten hold of her medical records and can use those records against Puff to do exactly what most of us suspect she did, get a $100 million payday. So maybe back then I wasn't well aware of how to do so, but over the next six or seven years, I figured out. So now when I start showing these pictures, I don't care if a donkey kicked me. If I show some pictures on the internet and I'm bruised up, that's your ass, Mr. Postman. Well, in the filing, she speaks to uh, deleting a lot of things and then him having recovered some mm -hmm. of them mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. show or exercise to show a power and can still get away. Yeah, you can yep. like that was the only message that I read about. Yeah, that's, that's Joe Buttons giving his honest opinion. I don't understand this. What a wonderful interview, what a wonderful segment, what a wonderful piece. It's a shame that I had to get it uh searching for it. Bro, See, I ain't gonna hold you. I was giving a shit with you. That shit was mad scary. Yeah. It was really, really sad, and I felt for her. Yep. I really felt for her. Because Cassie, right? Is Cassie mm -hmm. like she? We ain't heard from Cassie in twenty years at all. A peep about Messi, no, no, no. never, never. She seemed happy. Got family, beautiful family. You know what I mean? Like this now, y'all know I'm gonna ask what that dude is doing amongst these Negroes or folks that are very closely associated with Negroes. I've never quite understand the invitation that we offer to these creatures that have no association with our history except that which they try to glom onto and take for themselves. I'm out of nowhere. Yeah. I mean, for us, you for know, us? you know. I don't know how he survives this. I don't know either. I disagree. Unless you got to I disagree. Get about it here and go somewhere. I think my I say crazy. I think that's what I say. I think my Stop. Joe Budden says he's seen crazier. 
Joe, if you're seeing crazier, then speaking on this shouldn't be that crazy. I don't understand why this was eliminated. I don't understand why you apologized effectively for this interview. You made excuses regarding why you took this down, claiming that you didn't want to get involved. Mr. Buttons, you're quite thoroughly involved. And power supersede all this shit. Wait. In our society, that unfortunately, right. if you he can go and hide for a couple of years, like I think he gotta get low. I think he can't just be out here, gotta get low. And I think he can slowly but surely just start working his way deal after deal, album after album, back into good graces. No, I think he's canceled. I think that the uh the snowball effect, sharks smell blood in the water. He paid like he weighed. Now, Diddy's done which is another reason that uh, Buttons, he shouldn't have to run. You know the fucked up part in this? All of it. Oh, yeah, that's true. All of it. But, like, to go on the, the BET shit and, and shout her out, to the, the, the Instagram post tagging her, compliment, uh, congratulating her. Yeah. Like, How long ago was this? When they first got oh. love. No, no, the BET shit was uh, recently, last, last year. Okay. But like 20, 20, remember when her, her dude first got married, he yeah, yeah, he liked the yeah. bitches and no, he posted them up there and congrats to at cat. Last year he got a BET award, something I guess, and he was up there talking about her, lauding her while I guess simultaneously keeping her mouth shut for the five year NBA. But I guess she got around that. Let's see how this ends. I see in her husband and said like it come off as like almost talking a little bit. It does. Mm-hmm. With, 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 with all this information, especially yeah, with all of the information that came out. Yeah. Come over, yeah. The husband did say that uh, Diddy threatened the children. The husband said in the suit, uh, I guess the, the negotiations of uh, trying to close the suit, that Diddy, in fact, threatened their children, which is something I wouldn't, you know, wouldn't put past him in his position. Anybody like that? They act like they're surprised about this dude. They act like uh, Diddy, that, this shouldn't surprise you. Look at his eyes. They're too set close together. He looks like he's a few, few few fries short of a Happy Meal. He looks like his association with Clive Davis early in his career affected his future and the future of many others. Okay. Yeah, the way that we received this information, I'm not mad at ICE or anybody that mm-hmm. feels like I want to know what that means. The way that we received this information, I'm not mad at ICE or anybody. I'm trying to figure out what that means. I think it plays into why he retract, detracted all of this and, uh, you know, kind of tried to scurry away. Okay. And shout out to her husband, man. That's a lot to, yeah. to he, he's going to have to deal with. Yeah, the white guys saying shout out to the white husband of Cassie. Yeah, expected. Emotionally and publicly. Why is he there? Why is he there? Damn, just in there. All right, that's about as much as I can stand. It just talks about it being a nasty situation and whatnot and such and thus. Well, I got to tell you, folks, uh, I read uh, shortly after this, uh, you know, Joe Buttons, he put a, he, he did a podcast on the podcast he eliminated. And I watched the podcast and it's a shameful, cowardly, cowardice podcast. He makes as many excuses as a person can make after saying such things. And it just, it just doesn't, it's not a good look. The optics are bad, Mr. Buttons. But uh, more than that, he put this uh, apology podcast together. And that was about three days ago, I think. And uh, it's gotten 10 likes. So uh, needless to say, I think Mr. Buttons has taken care of his career. There are quite a few out there that are not in fear of Diddy and have had uh, dealings with him and talk about him openly. I mean, it's like... You know, and they're still breathing. Their cars aren't blown up and they're, and they're still on the air. Anyway, there it is there, folks. I thought I'd bring that to your attention while I mention my name. Is Doug Rice of the Rice Show? You know, we'll, we'll be back, I, I, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs>